All right, people. People! Anyway, on this particular video, 22 ammunition, which we all know for quite a while is hard to find. You know what I'm saying? You got to show up at Walmart like every day of the week to try to see if it arrives or when it arrives. Catch it when it arrives. You know, checking them gun shops all the time. Going to gun shows. I mean, the whole point is, you know, the message needs to get out, okay, to get more 22 ammunition. You know, people want to blame it on the, on the preppers and on the, uh, the hoarders, whatever, or price gouging, stuff going on, whatever. Could be a lot of things. Could be that they're just not making as much, the line to you and tell you, well, whatever. You can come up with a million different reasons. The point is, I mean, you, you just, they need to start letting it be more out there. I mean, if there's, I've been noticing there's more pistol ammunition around, personally, here in my parts anyway. So why can't there be more 22 ammunition? Hell, it's easier to make anyway. It takes less material to make 22 ammunition than it does 9mm and 45. And, uh, but I mean, I'm glad that the pistol ammunition is more available than it was a few years ago. I remember it being not available a few years ago, pistol ammunition. I mean, it was, it was bad. You know, I had to search around. It was just like trying to find 22 ammunition right now. You see what I'm saying? So, but, you know, they need to start making it more of it and getting it around more. You know, hoarders are going to hoard up anything. You see what I'm saying? They're going to hoard up, you know, shotgun shells, pistol rounds, whatever. They're going to hoard it all up, not just 22 ammunition. Whatever. So, you get the whole point. There just needs to be more of it fucking made. And I mean, when you find the shit and it's like $70 or $100 a damn box, don't buy the shit if it's that much. Because that's just that's price gouging out the ass. And I mean, just don't do it. You know what I mean? If they're asking that much for it. It should be no more realistically, for a Brit, we're talking of 500 rounds or so should be no more than I'd say 20 you know twenty dollars to thirty dollars okay if it's above that there's some kind of price gouging going on I mean there's some higher dollar brands that might be like forty five dollars for a brick that's still steep that's bullshit I usually get Winchester 333 and that's like you know fourteen fifteen dollars eighteen dollars a box you know twenty dollars a box you know, Winchester makes good 22 ammunition, you know, whatever. Federal makes good 22 ammunition, you know. Wolf even makes good 22 ammunition. But like I say, you get the whole point. I'm just trying to give you some stuff to go by here so you don't end up paying an arm and a leg for it. And, you know, the videos, people need to try to, and hopefully this video gets to the right people or and then just encourages other people to get to the right people and a step and a step and a step and provide more 22 rounds on the shelf at the Walmart stores or uh, gun shops or anywhere for decent decent prices so like I say thanks for watching bringing you from the chair once again it's a real comfortable chair that's, that's why I decided to start sitting in and doing videos sometimes instead of standing up like I normally do but like I say, I bring you variety on this channel, the 22 ammunition, and hopefully, hopefully we'll start getting better. Because I personally like shooting it myself, and I, don't sh I would be shooting it more if I had more availability to it, of course. <laughs> Took a genius to figure that out, didn't it? So anyway, <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. On the West Warrior. Yeah, go get the, uh, whatever. Just grab me a beard.